loves send out here coming at you with another video we're gonna jump right into it this company has sent me three bundles of 24 inch and a 20 inch lace closure and i'm gonna leave all of the information in the description box below and i need you to get something to drink and something to eat and get comfortable because i'm about to give you all types of melanin drenched khaleesi vibes in here today okay so right now i am just measuring um well matching my measurements to the closure frontal i'm sorry and once i do that i cut the ends off i didn't record that part but i make sure that i measure the frontal because it makes it so much easier whenever i am making wigs because then i don't have to go back and cut off access and all of that stuff so i am going to go through and put everything you know all of these bundles together and i'm purposely using black thread so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing and exactly how my stitches look now in a couple places you will notice little bubbles i do those bubbles on purpose because i go back in and create a slip knot so yes that is just the method to my little madness okay that is pretty much it and i will come back when it is time to tone the way that I am doing this is a little different than most videos that you normally see um, doing closures frontals out of wigs in my case I create the maximum amount of tension because I am not one of those people that uses like glue and all of that stuff not that there's anything wrong with it but anytime that I have a wig on honey it is meant to be owned and took off by the time I get home okay so this is the way that I put mine on and I go ahead and attach that last weft to the edge of the frontal that we have hanging on along with that black band that's right under it a lot of times I don't cut the wefts especially in case cases like this um i don't cut the webs what i do is i fold them over one web at a time especially when i'm doubling them and it's fine if you watch it and rewind it a couple of times you can get the gist of it i don't know why i made that face and why i be looking like somebody oh it but anyway um yes i'm just gonna go through and put the rest of these bundles in and then i really mean it this time i'll be back whenever it's time to tone
color and for some people this may be okay but for me no whenever I wear lighter colors I need it to either be ashy some type of beige in it or in this case we're going to do like some white purpley violet type of stuff okay so um normally I would just wet the whole entire wig down but for recording purposes I'm going to do it here because I don't feel like moving everything I am using this purple shampoo from joy call all of the information will be left in the description box below now i will say this if you are going for something to just tone it then i do not recommend doing it this way um i recommend getting the wig completely wet and drenched in water and then shampooing like that in this case i want a deep purple tone at the root and at the ends and i want it to look like it's all blending in as you go down so that is why i am doing it this way but after this is all over with you see i don't care look i've been married for 10 years i already been chose okay so yes your girl's hair is looking crazy in this video oh well anywho so I am going to go through and after I go through I am going to go ahead and wash it out completely and then put the toning conditioner on now I am using this leave-in from Kimra all of the products that I use in this video will be left in the description box below but I use this leave-in and now I am simply styling the wig in the way that I want and as you can see like the color automatic it, it already looks so bomb and you can really see like those purple tones and the purple tints now if you do not want this much purple just don't leave it in as long as I did plus what I told you guys earlier but the um the least amount of time you leave it in the less purple or the less white it will become you guys so make sure you put a limit to the amount of time that you leave the purple shampoo on but like i said in this case i want it white with deep purple tints so i left it now i am just going to go ahead and pre-slick the edges down and create a little bit i don't even want to say baby hairs because i don't like the whole baby hair thing i'm just going to make the hairline look a little bit more natural for you know a slap it on type of wig because this is a slap it on type of wig okay and the foam wrap that i'm using right now is from design essentials and yes mm -hmm, just keep on watching let's go ahead and you know make this hairline look a little bit more like 
realistic remember you guys I am not keeping this wig on for a long period of time most people use press and combs there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but I love this little comb wand thingamajigger is from Conair if I'm not mistaken I'll find a link for it and I will leave it in the description box below but in this case I don't know I just I'm really feeling the middle part so we're gonna go in that direction normally this is the part that kind of makes or breaks you whenever it comes to applying a wig so the way that I like to find my middle is I'll just line it up with my nose and go straight up now I'm just gonna take this little thing like I said I keep calling it a little thing because I have no idea what it's called I think I got it at Sally's I walked past it's like oh what is that so I don't actually I don't want to lie to you I don't remember where I got it it could have been Walmart I don't know but Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and make sure all of this is laying down flat. Um, I do have, um, you will see that I have a little toothbrush every once in a while and that just has some to be glued on it and I'm just using that gel for my ends. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through and do some slide cutting to make sure that everything is framing my face properly and whenever I am done, I will be done. So this is pretty much it you guys if you're not doing so already make sure you are subscribed here to my channel and once you subscribe be sure to click that bell so you are notified every time I post a new video I am so in love with this like violety ashy white blonde finger majigger we have going on I don't care what anybody's talking about and I don't care what race you are any woman can wear any color that she wants to wear as long as she does it tastefully there is a tone of every color for everybody's skin mm -hmm. so really quick I just wanted to show you guys something um I don't really necessarily have my hair on my face all the time so I wanted to give like a real life glimpse of how I would actually wear it so I made sure that the hair was out of my face I just got like a little ponytail holder and putting a ponytail in the back and I had to put my new glasses on I just got my new Ray-Bans the other day and I don't know I just look I just feel really smart when I put these on and like I said I did not use any type of glue so I'm just going to go ahead and push this right behind my ear that's another reason why I said I love 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 to cut everything off before we get started so it matches up perfectly so we do not have to worry make sure that you stop right now even if you're watching premiere stop watching this video well not stop when it's over girl it's about to be over girl go ahead leave a comment girl okay and let me know what you think about this and let me know what colors you want to see next i love you guys so much and until my next video bye girl go comment girl i ain't playing girl because <laughs> i'm like you girl y'all